think tanks, it seems to me, have um, the, the worst of all worlds. Yeah? You need the um, academic rigor of uh, university life, uh, the popularization initiative of journalism, uh, and you're expected to come up with policy solutions. And to top it all, I now discover that you're also meant to save the world, because I notice that the, 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 the topic for discussion now is not uh, can uh, the policy research community uh, help in a crisis, but how? I do believe that think tanks in general in the United States, but certainly in many other countries, play an increasingly important role in how public policy is created. I think think tanks were once considered a luxury, and now they really are uh, formally part of the structure of how governments and societies have conversations about public policy and generate new ideas, give feedback to governments, and help governments make some very hard choices. Um, unlike Simon, I think we in some ways have the best of all worlds, which is we're not stuck in the, the slow pace of scholarly work, but we are an intermediary between scholarly work and the faster paced world of, of public life in a, in a national capital. Um, and I do think that increasingly there's an expectation that think tanks also become do tanks. And that's one of the premises of this session, of whether think tanks have to go beyond a sort of passive observer role and become more active players. And here I want to strike a note of caution. I think we have to be careful of what is the capacity and what is the appropriateness of asking research organizations to uh, put on a more activist hat and, and get more in the arena of actually uh, either implementing or uh, executive, exec, uh, executing policies um, in the field. Um, I think it's important to bear in mind that think tanks and, and uh, experts have, did not forecast some of the m m most important international uh, developments of the last 25 years. Uh, and uh, and we, we should keep that in mind when, when assessing our own line of business in a way, uh, is that we, we've not, we failed to get ahead uh, of some of the most um, important developments, uh, whether it's the collapse of the Soviet Union and, uh, and of the um, uh, Soviet bloc, whether it's more recently the Arab Spring. Um, at best, we did identify long-term long trends that were pointing at weaknesses in the, in the regimes, uh, but we did not predict the massive transformation or the date of that massive transformation by, by any means. Uh, and you know that politicians and researchers, they do not always speak the same language. It's hard for them, especially in the situation of crisis management, to get together and come to terms on what is necessary to be done. But I think one very important prerequisite is to have a very sound and trustful relationship between the research institute and the political leadership, if you will. Uh, you have to have the daily access to them in order to uh, get what kind of questions they have in mind. Uh, and you also have to show them some sort of proof of concept that you really meant something for them in previous crises, thereby that you will get the assignments from them to work with them when the crisis is secure. Uh, we have an independence that permits us to say, hey, we're not going to go that way because that goes against our principles. So, again, these are kinds of questions that each institution has to evolve for itself. And I talked about the basic fundamental role of formulating ideas, the role of the institutions and how they fit together. The third one is individuals, and I've uh, been known to give speeches on the three I's, ideas, individuals, institutions, how they fit together and how they impact on the policy process. But I think I'll just wrap up with a thought from Milton Friedman, 1960, Capitalism and Freedom. And he said, the real question is, when a crisis finally hits, what ideas are lying around that the politicians can dust off and actually use to apply to deal with that crisis? And frankly, that's one of the key roles I think think tanks play is having those ideas kind of lying around, waiting for the opportunity to be able to uh, instill them in the political class so that they can actually make a difference.